guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a spring, pre-spring, spring haul from Torrid. So if you wanna see what I got, then just keep watching. Okay, so I bought a bunch from Torrid. I ended up taking a lot back from old videos that I just didn't like or it didn't fit or I just knew that I wouldn't wear it. So I did return some stuff, so I had a gift card and then when I went on there, there was like a 40% off VIB sale that I had no idea was going on. VIP, this isn't Sephora. VIP sale. Um, didn't know what was going on, didn't get an email about it, and uh, so I went off. So, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. I definitely bought a lot of stuff spring inspired because obviously spring is right around the corner and so a lot of stores are starting to sell spring stuff and I'm ready for it, you know? I can feel the heat. I want to be on a beach with a pina colada. Oh, pina colada. I'm ready. So let's just jump into this. Let me do a couple of things that I'm not going to try on just because I don't see the point in some of it. So I never ended up getting on the biker short trend when it happened last summer. So I decided to get it on it to get on it this time. We'll uh, <laughs> see if I actually do it though. But I feel like now that I have them, I'll be forced to wear them, right? So the biker shorts that I got specifically are called black crochet side insert. Nope, it says inset bike shorts. I got size three, retail for $25.50. So three is just the size I wear on all of their leggings. So I figured the shorts would probably be the same, but this is just what they look like. They just have that little crochet seam. Oh, here it is. Oh, it really is crochet. I literally, for some reason, just thought it was gonna be like little strings. Interesting, cute. I figured this would at least get me to wear them and they wouldn't look so, I don't know, boxy? That's, I just messed up my lighting. That's not the phrase, but I just like, I feel like when I see bigger people wear these kind of shorts, they just kind of like cut their body off. Like it just like, I don't know, so I'm hoping that having that little like extra design kind of doesn't do that. Um, the other thing that I got that I can't really, I can, but I'm not going to try on is hair tie. So it's called Black and Pink Hair Tie Pack. It's a pack of five for $14.50. So I just got these because I thought they were cute because they've got like the little tie, faux ties, um, just to stick up at the top because I thought it would look cute. So it does come with this like bandana-ish one. Just kidding, it's got flowers. <laughs> uh, a white one that does not, oh, the white and gray don't actually have the ties, and then just a pink and black one that do. Uh, I'm running out of hair ties that will hold my hair because it's gotten so long that it's really heavy. All right, the other thing that I'm not gonna try on is a necklace. I know I said I was gonna give up on Tora jewelry, but like, nobody told me of a website to go to that's got affordable, so I can just keep buying it. Um, this is called the Gold Tone Starburst Layered Necklace for $22.50. So I believe it's supposed to be three layers. Yes. So it's got a layer. What are these? Like little circle thingies. <laughs> it looks like opal in it. I'm sure it's fake, obviously. And then it's just got like a little star and then a little ooh, sun. So it's just a cute little... How many times am I going to say little layered necklace? I thought that would be really adorable. So I just thought this would be really cute. I really like the layered trend. I'm just too lazy <laughs> to find all of the different layers. So I like these kind of necklaces where it comes together. That is all the items that I'm not gonna try on. So now let's actually get into the clothes. Let's go into the shirts first because I forgot I actually did buy a couple of rompers. I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone. Because I bought that one romper a while back last, I think it was spring or summer. I can't remember, from City Chic, and I actually love that thing. So I decided to step out of my comfort zone and we're gonna we're gonna try more rompers. Um gosh, I'm used to wearing a jacket up here. It's hot. This, by the way, is in my last video from Boohoo. If you wanna watch that. So I got some stuff that is very basic because I just wanted to have something to just throw on and it automatically just be cute because of the color. <laughs> so this is literally just yellow. It's called the yellow double scoop yellow double scoop foxy tank. I got it in a size four for $22.50. I'm hoping these tank tops kind of sit like their t-shirts do and so I get fours in their t-shirts because I like the more slouchy fit that it gives. Hoping 
that that's what this will do as well. Ooh, I don't know that it's going to. It feels kind of like really thick material, but it's literally just a yellow tank top. There's nothing to it. So I didn't even think this through. It's probably gonna be see-through. I really, really need to get a beige bra. So let's go ahead and just try this on. Okay, so this is the first shirt. It's definitely a clinger kind of tank top. And now we're fighting with the wind. Um, it is definitely, definitely see-through. So you would have to have like skin color bra or something underneath. I think I'm gonna take this back just because I don't really have anything in my closet to go with it. But I think this would actually be really cute to wear with like a light denim jacket over it or something. Because I really, really like this color. I just know personally I have nothing to wear with it. And I'm not going to go buy a jacket just to wear with one top. So personally I'm going to take this back. But it is really comfortable and I actually really, really like the color. Okay, let's take it down a bit because not everyone likes really bright colors. So this is still springish, summerish as far as like the cut but the color is dark. So this is called Favorite Tunic Tank Super Soft Tie Dye Black. Size 3, got it for $35.50. Um, I got this in a 3, and I don't remember why. Maybe just because of the model. Um, but it's literally just a tie-dye, but this kind of tie-dye tank top. So let's go ahead and try this on. Okay, so this is the next tank top. Um, honestly, I could have gone up a size higher just for personal preference of liking this a little looser. But it still fits fine. Um, I'm probably going to keep this size because I want to lose some weight. So I feel like this would kind of be encouragement to get this to be a little looser. But honestly, it fits perfectly fine as is. I just personal preference would like it to be baggy. And it's not really baggy. But I really, really like the design of this. And I love this material of their super soft line. It's so comfortable. This next one is also another no sleeve. And I feel like I should mention this because I know a lot of people who are plus size, who have big arms, have a problem with showing them. And I completely get it. I will tell you the majority of my clothes in summer and spring are sleeveless. So if you don't like that, you're probably going to have a hard time finding stuff recommended from me. I mean, I obviously still wear stuff that isn't, but I kind of years ago, probably three or four years ago now, got over that hump of caring and just prefer to be free because to be honest, in the summer when it gets so hot, it is miserable to have things cling to you. So it's just so much more freeing and like airy <laughs> to not have anything on your arms. So I did get over that a long time ago so I do tend to prefer sleeveless tops in summer um so this is another one this is called the peach tie-dye millie mocked tank I did get this in a size 4 because I wanted it to be flowy um and it's 45.50 whoa <laughs> did not realize that again I got discounts so it is just this like peachy orange color which I love in spring and summer um, and it is just tie-dye and then this is actually kind of cool that I didn't really notice in the picture so it's got this like scrunchy material but it's from the top here all the way to the middle top of the back so that's actually really really cool I like that so let's go ahead and try this on okay I love this I love how like loose and baggy it is and I'm surprised I'm wearing a black bra and I thought it would be see-through but it's really not that bad like I can still see like a tinge of the black underneath and like my pants down here but it's not bad I really really like this and I love the color and it's just so like breezy material uh I love this okay so this next shirt was because I purchased another kind of like rock band shirt from Torrid and became obsessed with it because of the cut it was kind of that old like crisscrossing that we used to do a long time ago when I was in like high school I guess that wasn't that long ago so I got this because of that so it is a tie-dye shirt with Leonard Skinner which I don't listen to any of this music so yeah fake fan but it's got this opening in the neck which I thought would look 
really cute. Um, this is called Leonard Skinner White Tie-Dye Choker Tee. I got it in a size 4 and it is $49.50. So, well, let's go ahead and try this on. Okay, I love this shirt and I am so glad I picked it up in a bigger size because I love how, like, loose it is. So it's, like, comfortable and it makes me feel like I'm just chilling in a t-shirt. But then this cutout kind of makes it feel more like I tried to put an outfit together. But it's so comfortable. The back is just plain. And where this sits does not bug me because I think I've mentioned before I don't like things too high to my neck. But it just kind of drapes down so it works. I like this. Now we get into rompers where I'm kind of concerned if this is going to work or look good. Uh, I do have a vacation planned in two months, a couple of months from now to go to Florida. So I did want these for that reason. Actually, one of these is like a kind of a swimsuit cover-up romper. Um, but this one is called the Black and Leopard Studio Knit Surplus, 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 Surplus. I never actually know how to say that word. Romper, size three, 65.50. So I was debating and going back and forth with if I should get a three or a four because some toward shirts, actually a decent majority of them fit me in a size three, but some of them, because of the structure, I prefer a four. So I couldn't figure out how to do that with a romper, but I ultimately went with the three because when it comes to towards leggings and stuff, I prefer the threes over the fours because the fours just feel slightly too loose. So this could be a mistake, but it is a cheetah top. Um, it is sleeveless with a wrap kind of style in the front. And then it does have the keyhole opening in the back. And then it just wraps around and it is shorts. So let's hope this works <laughs> and let's just try it on. Okay, so this is the, oh my gosh, there's pockets. <laughs> This is the romper, the shorts romper. It was a little difficult to get on. Oh, fully my fault. So it was a little difficult to get on up here with the top portion to get it over this area. However, I just realized there is a little button for the keyhole opening, so I could have opened that and it would have been really easy to put on. Super, super comfortable material. Uh, I wouldn't say it's the most flattering, However, it's also not too unflattering either. Uh, I think it helps because the shorts are loose and flowy and then the belt, you can tie it on the sides, but if you tie it in the front, it kind of helps to hide a little bit of this area. And then the back just has the keyhole opening. So I can't decide. I do really like that it has pockets. That is definitely a bonus, but I can't decide if I would keep it. I think I might. I don't know. I'll probably end up looking back at the footage and decide then. What do you guys think? I can't decide. Let me know. Okay, last item is another romper. It is called the Black Smocked Lace Up Swim Womp Romper, size 3, and it retails for $59.50. Same thing with this one as the last one of why I chose the size 3 instead of a 4. It is strapless. Oh, cute. And it has this, like strapped or laced up detail is that the back or the front that's the front oh cute okay so that's the front um and then it's just a flowy whoa lighting flowy flared pants this one is what i specifically bought for going uh, to florida but let's go ahead and try this on okay so this is the last romper i did just tuck my straps so my bra is sitting a little weird. <laughs> um, but this is the next one. Obviously, way easier to put on because it had nothing up here. So you can just slide it over. Um, I can definitely see why this is considered a swimsuit cover-up. Which, it didn't even say swimsuit cover-up. It just says swim romper. So I'm assuming that that's what they implied. Because this is very, very thin material. I can't tell if it's see-through. And I don't really want to show you to be the tester. <laughs> So I'll just have to show my husband later and I'll put that in the description if it's see-through because this is extremely thin material. Ah, I don't think it is see-through, but it is very, very thin material. However, I actually really like this. It does come really low 
for me, which is funny because on the model it's not supposed to be that low, but on me, and I'm five, six and a half ish, it is very, very low. Like this is supposed to be capris and it's not. It's almost pants on me. So I think I'll keep it as an actual swimsuit cover up because it is really comfortable. Um, but I wouldn't want to wear this all day because of how high the actual seam goes. I feel like I still would get chafing. So probably only wear it as a swimsuit cover up, but I do actually still really like it. Okay. So that is everything that I got for Torrid for my like pre spring spring clothing. Um, if you have any other stores that you want me to try out for spring clothing, let me know and I will check it out. But that is all I have for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.